2020 meeting of the Merrimack Agriculture Commission. Uh, good evening to all. And we're going to start off with uh, summer market. comments from the press or public. Seeing none, we're going to move on to new business. We're going to skip item A and go to summer market, uh, the summer farmer's market, which we have contracts for. For anybody who's interested, they can call me, email me, or go to the website, the town website, and uh, print it off of there. We are in the midst of uh, a discussion about creating some advertising for the summer market because um, our new vendors need some, how can I say it, um, airtime, newspaper time, something to um, bring, the, bring our clients in on Wednesday afternoons. And um, I've got a couple options. I talked to the union leader again. They sent me our old copies from when we ran two years ago. Um, I have the old ad actually in the second page, I think, Paul. Uh, everybody can take a look at this. And what they're offering us is a two by two space, uh, $25 every Wednesday in the union leader. Um, every Wednesday? Every Wednesday. Well, I'm, not, I'm not interested in every Wednesday. I think we did every other Wednesday when we ran that, that ad two years ago. I, th I think, I believe that would be sufficient um there's the old ad that's that's how it looks Ronnie. that's the best when you left you're done um i think we ha we need to give the vendors back something and uh as far as advertising is concerned we're not going to use this sign anymore the illuminated sign um so i'm asking the commission for help here to take our ad squeeze it a little bit take some of the verbiage out of it and make it uh easier to read because if you look at the old ad, um, very wordy, very wordy, and some of those vendors are no longer with us. We tried to describe or highlight what vendors we had uh, back in '18, and um, now we have too many words in the ad. Do can we possibly find some examples of other markets that advertise to the? Well, the, the third page, Paul, is is the oh, whole. We can take out locally raised meat. Is the whole page for I that Wednesday that. I, I missed the leader. third page. Bedford was above us. We were below Bedford, for example, and um, at that point in time, that's what everybody's doing, we're trying to include all the, the vendors, in the highlights of the vendors. Okay, so if we took out locally raised meat because that's not an option right at the moment. Right. Fish. We still have fish. We still have fish. So I, belie we I believe fish. we have fish. That takes up a lead. Cross it right out, Bess. Cross it right out. Then we'll know where we're going. So we should add fish because that was a big draw last right. year. Right. Mm -hmm. Should I put fish in here? Yeah, anywhere. And remember, we have to squeeze it down to two by two. Well, okay. So we have maple syrup. Yes, we do. Uh, take out local. Put honey. We have honey. honey. But we just take out the local. Uh, well, well they're, they're those in, hives are all around us. New Boston, Manchester. Um, yeah, but I think we just have yeah, New Hampshire. I mean, we're, we're not saying local maple syrup, which it could be, but so if we just say honey, they know. Well, they have that's honey. fine. So take out local. Okay. That I mean, the word. bottom line is everything's a New Hampshire product. Absolutely. Yeah. All so, New Hampshire made. You know, really, so, whether it comes right. from so local Pittsburgh is, or Nashua. So, mm -hmm. And then you have fresh herbs, microgreens. Micah Greens is out. We don't have him anymore. All right. Take that out. Um, fresh. Uh, so we can take out the fresh there. So we have. Although fresh, fresh Start is with us, we may have two or three Fresh Start farms with us this year. Well, we are already saying we have a selection of fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. So we don't need the fresh because they're not going to know they're fresh. Mm -hmm. I mean, they should have maybe if they set aside. We could probably. Um, yeah, at the end of the day, that's why you're going to the farmers market. Because mm -hmm. you. We also uh, last year I also made this. I don't know if there's anything here that would, that we can use in that ad or a portion of it, but um, that was created from cardstock. Now. It's kind of expensive paper. Do you mm. want to, uh, instead of fresh baked cookies, baked. Because there were other baked goods. Local there. bakery. Uh, Fresh baked goods or uh, fresh baked. Just go with fresh baked goods. 
That way it just covers everybody that we get. Okay, good instead of just cookies. We have the, uh, we, the s'mores we lady. We, we got possible bread man. We got, bread uh, man's still in, uh, he's taking that six or month course. Or you want to use products, fresh bread products. I mean, how do you, how would you prefer? What did I'll just say? go with fa uh, freshly made uh Baked goods. Baked goods. Goods, okay. Freshly baked. So we get the pie guy. Fresh, fresh. Wait, so fresh baked goods, not freshly baked goods. Do Correct. we want to go fresh, freshly? Fresh, or? fresh baked goods. Fresh baked goods. So we'll take out this. And. So then we get up to the plant-based pain relief products. That takes up quite a line. Just put pain relief product, P R O D. Um, you could always just leave it. Just go straight pain relief. People yeah. know they they're yeah they're reading the ad. They know. Okay, so we're getting rid of the paint. I forget. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, if you're looking for CBD, well, well at least so we'll bring them in. Got Different lights. We'll bring them in. Uh, Different lights. We've, we've got the fresh baked goods. But then you also have gluten-free baked goods. Yeah, so take I, that out. Just it's all encompassing. Out. I mean, baked goods. if they decide to make it gluten-free, great. If not, handmade soap, wood fire, pizza. We didn't have that last year. Do we have we have a, the the Maple Lady has that cow milk soap. So the handmade cow milk soap. What about uh, the pizza guy? He's out. Right? He's out. Yeah, take the pizza guy out. Um, I mean, it's still early. It's only the middle of March, you guys, and uh, we, yeah. we don't know the other new variety of vendors. I that think that the kind of the more broad we can keep it, the, the cover, the greatest number. Well, so then we have handmade soap and more. Okay. Anything else we can delete? Well, I think we've deleted. Or after all the food, how about just other handmade products made here in New Hampshire? Every other vowel. <laughs> Every other vowel. <laughs> Other New Hampshire made so, products. So actually, we've taken out yeah, uh, from June 10th. To, uh, of course, so that's, that's blown you up. You should that, leave uh, that in there. It should be every so why, Wednesday. why don't we, you know, let's see. And the website. June to October 10th. So you have 15 to 20 vendors weekly providing you with the freshest selection of fruits and vegetables. Maple syrup. Um, Maple syrup, honey. honey. Well, do you want to put the fish in there? Where do you want to put the fish? Anywhere there's an opening. Uh, honey, fish, freshly baked goods. Finest selection of fish. Maple and more. syrup. Every Wednesday, June 10th through October 7th. Uh, pain relief products. <clears throat> uh, baked, baked, uh, freshly, freshly, or fresh baked goods, fish. Fresh fish, fish. You want to go with fresh fish? That that's kind of an eye catcher. It yes. is fresh. That's that's important. So we right off the boat. Fresh. So put fresh, fresh, because I think that he had made soap and more. Perfect. I think it sounds good. So here you can have that back. So we can. Okay. <clears throat> Thanks. Um, so now a thought, another thought is, is that we, you know, people, the Monadnock Journal lists all farmers markets and things. Why couldn't we advertise in that? Well, I um, notice we're not listed, but the Milford mm -hmm. Farm Market is. They must have reached out to them and, and done it. I, I can't catch everything best, you know. Well, well if can, we're... Can you give me a contact? I can get you a, a copy. I mean, I get a copy when I go out to Agway or whatever because okay. they have them. I think they even have them at Tractor Supply. Mm -hmm. I was at Tractor Supply today. I think there? so. I didn't see it. I was there today. But I, I mean, I don't see why that wouldn't be a good... Because they list mm -hmm. everybody almost in the through, mm -hmm. you know, all this area. I wonder what the uh, charges would be. Well, we'll find out. I'll yeah. pick up the magazine. I mean, we can't spend it all. We do have money to spend, but we can't spend yeah. it all. Well, no. It's, but if, but but if you, you, you said you wanted a couple of sources, and I have to admit, I'm, I'm right. not. No, I agree. I'm not computer technical inclined to do stuff on Facebook it's, and all that. No, it's fine. Um, I saw Loretta, and um, we talked about the weekly newspaper. How she used to do a I don't even for see it. that anymore. Well, there's nothing free in anything anymore. Well, no, I don't even 
get oh they you have to buy the journal no no you, no, you get them paper free but the ads well i don't even get stories. the paper we don't get them anymore uh, there's one at the town hall there's a pile in the town hall going into the town clerk's office there's still a pile there but used to be in the mailbox right yeah that doesn't yeah matter. and then they just tossed them on the ground right <laughs> right so i mean but i didn't ever even go anywhere where there's they have them so it wouldn't i wouldn't even see it anyway we got to try something. That's all I'm saying, you know, in, in to get ready for, for well, it's June's right around the corner. We couldn't make some flyers so they could put it in bags at Tractor Supply. <laughs> well, speaking of flyers. Um, that type of thing. Let's see where. This will jar Paul. Remember this one? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so I why found would, that in, in history. Why would it jar Paul was there with the tomato. <coughs> oh, That's right. What tomato? You tossing tomatoes? We, we oh, went to we, uh, winter market. Container garden. Did a container garden. Container gardening. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that's that's the the pinup for it. I could change that a little bit, and we could at the next meeting or two. I yeah, could I modify that, and I can go around town. I, I, we can go yeah. some places. Give everybody a few of these. Well, yes, change it to summer market. King Cone is going to be opening. I don't know if they have place to put it's flyers. Right, Supply, King Cone, Ham Hardware, or not, whatever. We'll, yeah, <laughs> Breeze Ferry, where we can get. Dating myself a little bit. Been here a while, so. Yeah. But I think to to it, hardware. I'll work on that one. Uh, and, and we, you know, flyers like at the library. A lot of people use the library. Um, you know, we have to, it has to be places where you have a lot of people that kind of come and go a lot. I brought this into the library. You have to give it to the library, and she has to okay it first, and then they put it up. You can't put it up over here. But they do put it up eventually. Well, that, I mean, yeah, but it's still... You know, um, I don't know if they'll leave it all summer, but we'll see. Um, also, I'm going to make the sign-up list for Wednesdays pretty soon. Remember Wednesday to open and closing? Mm. Well, I'll, I can come at night Remember? after work. I've always been. That's Thank you. Me. I'm a little later now. But. Huh? <laughs> he doesn't work in town. I work, I work farther away. Well, kind of. Why don't you take some vacation time, Ronnie? Uh, yeah. You know, a couple hours every Wednesday. All right, Paul? That's right. <laughs> What, I don't, I don't have we'll be there. But I don't have that that calendar set up yet, and I'll, I'll let everybody sign the next time. So um, the other part is I need some stamps for future mailings because I <laughs> used my last, last six stamps to send out to potential meat vendors this week. So I'd like somebody to initiate a roll of stamps, 55 cents Every each. Every month. <laughs> I know. $55. Well, part of I know, I'm just teasing them. Please. How much do you need? Need a roll. How much does it cost? Fifty-five dollars. I'll make a motion to approve fifty-five dollars for Bob to purchase for stamps, stamps for the summer mailing of what? farmers market, farmers community market. garden, whatever I need. No, yeah. Just know. mailings that are related to agriculture commission business. Thank you. Is there a second? I'll, I'll second. second. Well, I'll second it. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Four zero. Thank you. Um, okay. Any other questions on the summer market? Not at this time. Okay. Oh. It's still early. We are looking for vendors. Anybody out there listening? Agricultural-based farmer's market uh, at 526 DW Highway, site of vault storage for this summer. It's a great market. A uh, lot of activity. Um, any vendors or people starting new business and want to get out there and reach somebody, come and see us. Our contract is available at uh, Merrimack.gov, uh, Farmer's Market, and or Community Garden. So um, those can be electronically given to you immediately from your computer. Moving on, item C, Community Garden Update. So, Ronnie, we want you to go get a gallon of white paint. And Wait, what, I thought it was brown. We're doing white now. I no, that's for the white. sign. Remember, you volunteered. Well, I know, but I, I, I know, but I, I, I thought it was just. It's in our minutes. I know, I, I know, I volunteered. I'm, I'm not arguing that. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. I well, we got, uh, whichever color it may be, you need to identify that. Rainbow. And, no, make uh, it white. <laughs> yeah, okay. It'll highlight. So Ron's getting white. Ron's Exterior white. Are we gonna vote on this? Or are we? No, we yeah. already voted on it. <laughs> no, the color. I, I know. I know. I'm, I know. I'm doing it. Oh, no. It's, white latex. It says white. white all right. The, white latex. We'll purchase. You one guys gallon? are buying it, I'm buying no, it. No, you're buying it. Say, give me the receipt. I'll what, get your money back. It, does he need a gallon? Yes. Okay. Because a quart is like almost as much as a gallon. It might as well get a gallon. 
You might have to. You're gonna need those. it anyways. So. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I don't want the whiteboard touched. No drips. No, Ronnie. I'm taking everything off it. No. Nope. You can't take the whiteboard. It's screwed on to that yeah, machine. Yeah, I can. Oh, do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Work around that. Give oh, a roll a of So, so what is he painting? You, actually. When am I gonna do it? ASAP. No. Why are you painting? Just the. At the community the garden, there, there is a structure that we built years ago. It's a kiosk. A kiosk that um, has the rules and regulations with thumbtacks and plastic oh, okay. and a whiteboard message board that people can leave oh, yes, messages message or, or talk to the other gardeners, whatever. Um, the message board is permanently attached to that building, Ronnie. So White and green trim would look nice. I don't know. <laughs> one color, please. <laughs> and when you do the back of it, Take some bell hay string and, and tie the branches away from the building till the paint dries. No, no don't do that. No, I'm kidding. No, no. <laughs> but, Ronnie, the weather's with you right now. If you yeah, do, yeah. He was, do he it was, now. Does he, we, does he have to get you have brushes or rollers or something? Uh, you buy a two inch yeah. brush, three inch brush, whatever. Okay. So, are we Support approving the. Are you supplying this paint oh, free of charge? Or are we. We're, we're giving a receipt. Support the local economy. Help out Brown's hardware. Right. Do that. Buy a brush for a buck. What's that? Multiple receipts. Mm hmm. Well, I'll go, I'll go do an estimate and I'll come back. And no, <laughs> you'll do it now. The weather is with you. I know, I know. Get it, just get it done. Because right after you've painted it, we're going to do the garden. Yeah, because weather's good. We can get it done early this year, for the most part, right? Well, if it stays dry, but yeah. I, I think it's going to snow again. But you, you think know. so? Well, it could, but you know, we'll March. deal with it. We'll Don't last jinx long. It. Full moon this week, though. Nice full moon, crazy moon, super moon. Yeah. yeah. All right. What else? Uh, we should we should tell Ronnie how much to spend. I believe the gallon of paint will cost you forty dollars. Brushes probably coupon. like ten bucks for 10 brushes. Bucks, yeah. So fifty to sixty dollars, you thinking? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think well. you can get, yeah. I had a, well, maybe I don't have, Sherwin-Williams, I get, you know, they send me coupons, you know, you can get 20, 30%. I don't care where he goes as long as I get the receipt. I'll home. make a motion or to, home cheap up I'll to, make a motion. I'll right. make a motion to approve up to $75 for purchase of Shouldn't paint cost that much. and brush for Ronnie to go over and take care of the kiosk at the community garden. A gallon of, of really super white, mm -hmm. okay, shake it. Exterior latex. Yep. Come around there. Exterior latex. Exterior latex. I write this all down. Why don't you just go to the paint people? Well, you would think you would know enough yeah. to get this exterior latex. Are you going to second it or am I going to? Anyway. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll, I'll second, second it. Paint, second. And all paint in favor? Aye. Paint and brush. Yeah. Paint and a brush. That's paint all in brush there. is brush. All in favor? Aye. 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 Four zero, thank you. Did you want to get some like, like mums or any flowers for the summertime to kind of like spruce it up like nah, they, mow, they mow right to the edge don't, they don't do yeah. no i mean in a pot or something like a well mums come out in september running we'll let the gardeners take care of that okay mums come out in september who's going to go over and water them in the after the fact so are you going over every every yeah. other day or so to make sure they're probably not no <laughs> i'm fighting for string right now I, we can't find i'm looking for a green treated bale hay string can't find it really you can't find the green you have to go yellow you think like last year, the sister saved straight all that I gave you. It's a lot of knots. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say. But I, I, if I you noticed, I always made sure I cut up to that knot so you. I like I like the way you did it, best, and, yes. And I, so you had the most of the string. That your actually, your bags of string. I haven't seen any of that green stuff. Oh, I've been I'm, I'm asking all the yellow sure. and the, the blue. The, the Let me blue ask Dottie what she has. I can get it for round balers, but it's real thin stuff. Yeah. Sixteen thousand, too thin. By the time we stretch it, it breaks, you know. I forgot to ask Dottie for her because she was saving that for me. So I ordered uh, flags already from from um, the purchaser, and I got them today, except that I ordered four bundles of red and two bundles of white and only got one of each, so we're short a few bundles. So mm. it has to be reordered. It was some kind of – anyway, they're, they're coming. Unfortunately, we got time. Yeah, we still got time. Oh, I should probably get primer for that, huh? Sure. No. No. No, just paint Just it. put two coats on it. All right. No runs, Ronnie. Nice, nice, nice. Clean hey, the brush every hey. night, you know. I know what I'm doing, you know. Okay. Um, where was that? Community garden. Moving on to D, I believe. Moving on, on D for. Oh, memorial. Well, D is. Uh, let, let me 
for responses. Two rush for responses. Oh, so I got the mail uh, yesterday. And we have already uh, five plots sold at Community Garden. Excellent. Four people oh, responded. Right, five plots, four people. Okay, any questions on the Community Garden? So the next meeting, our next meeting is in April. We're all going to, the three boys are going to get together and figure out what Monday, Tuesday night, what, what, what's yeah. the best night of the week, Paul? Monday, Tuesday was yeah. fine. Ronnie? Yeah. Put the string, put the flags, done? Yep. I'll get the stakes in probably. Uh, day or two or all one day, you think? Like, what Let's just do it. If I have all the stakes in and you guys are both running, you know, we'll do flags and strings and everything. I think we did it all one day last year, didn't we? Yeah. Yes, we did. Well, day I come up and help you if it's I thought weekend. it was two days. I don't know why. Maybe, maybe you said to put stakes in. I've done, I've done it so many times, so I can't remember. What what date are you planning? Oh, uh, yeah, just like, I mean, what, hey, what, what, will we meet again on the 8th, so after Mid April, we'll third week in April. I don't know yet, Beth. It's got to be dry. So I have to wrote it till the first. Mm -hmm. Anytime before 7 at night, obviously. What happens at 7? Well, I start my third, I do work on third shift doing night flushing, so I got to be. I'll be, I'll be sleeping, you know. I'll be in bed after after three. Counting sheep. Cause I'll be actually no, that might work better for us because I'll, I'll be off all day. Well, you and I get started at eight o'clock in the morning. Yeah. There you go. I can bring two sledgehammers. Bring coffee, donuts, you know. But at least you could get it done during the day. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll stay over. There goes the overhead. Uh, <laughs> I'll stay over. I'll bring. I will make breakfast. Why does it bring the grill ready? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Pack a lunch. Okay. Um, Alrighty, moving right along. Item D. Um, on, a, on a sad note, last week um, we lost one of our very valued members of the Agriculture Commission. Uh, Pete Gagnon passed away. And um, in his memory, because he was so good to us for all the years he was here helping us, doing everything, the Merrimack Agricultural Commission would like to plant a memorial tree in his name. Um, I'm in preliminary discussions with this in the fam with the family, the Agnew family. And of course it's their it's their decision in the end what how and when and what they want to do. So I'm here to discuss it now with the commission. Um, my proposal or my thought would be to um, let them pick out the kind of tree that would work for them because they were in nursery business for 20 or 30 years in, in town and um, let his wife and his kids pick out what, what they think would be appropriate. Um, we would go to a commercial wholesale nursery and, and bring one home, plant it in the site that they choose to plant it in, um, we may or may not need town permission. I'm not sure yet. Again, this is only preliminary. Like at a park, you mean, or something like that? I don't. Whatever the family would ask for, but we at this point, if it's on town property, we would have to go to town council and ask permission. So, um, this may take a month or two to evolve. Right, right. You know, but I saw Nancy Gagnon yesterday, and I suggested a a flower and crab apple, uh, a plum, a cherry. Um, Dogwood. Dog, dogwoods of two, two or three different colors, pink or white, um, tree lilacs. Uh, I don't know, you know, there's other stuff out there. There's brilliant stuff to look at, but mm. it, they need to sit down yeah. with the family, have when a have family a discussion and all that. Um, so at this point, we just need to know uh, how serious the commission is. Um, is there a value that we're worried about or not? Two or three inch caliber tree, I could spend three or four hundred dollars in the wholesale industry mm -hmm. like nothing. I'd be fine with that. Yeah. Okay. Well, you did a lot for the town and for us. Well, I'm not want, worried about it either I, way. Well, we want, we Even if it costs a, a little more, I don't know. We, we want a very a nice tree of good quality. Something of great memory. Some, and something that is hopefully will flourish. Correct. No, he did a lot. I mean, McCabe Design would plant it in, with you guys helping, and uh, we'd stake it, mulch it, water it. Perpetual um, care. Would they yeah. make a plaque, you think, with it down the road or something? Maybe down the road. Maybe the town it? would think about that. I mean, it, we could see what they think, Ronnie. We didn't talk about a plaque well, yesterday. Well, we could but work in conjunction with 
someone else in that yeah. respect. Mm. If you get into a plaque, my knowledge of it is you have to put a cement base to it. It gets expensive you know. quickly. Huh? It gets expensive quickly. Oh, it yeah. does. Yeah. Mm. And then they, they would secure it to the cement base. Um, so here's a tree it's sitting in the ground and he put the plaque right in front of it, it may inhibit some of the roots. Maybe the plaque would be offset. I don't know. Mm. Maybe it would be in a stand. I don't know. You know, let's worry about yeah. that when we get there. Right. But let's see if the tree idea moves we'll forward. See how first. they feel about it. Correct. And, mm. and if that's something that they feel. So I gave Nancy my contact information last night, and um, I'll wait for them to make the decision. Okay. And we'll go from there. Okay? Mm -hmm. Everybody okay with that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. We need to vote now or not? No. 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 Okay. All right. Um, item E is bug, bug alert. Um, I see ticks out there. I, I was flipping some stuff over in the yard the other day. A bunch of spiders ran out because of the heat and the soil temperature is up. Ladybugs? I didn't see ladybugs. No, spiders is what I saw. Uh, a lot of stuff crawling already. It's very early spring right now, and the temperature is up. As soon as the ground temperature increases, things start hatching, moving out of the soil into the air and walking around. I, I think we're three or four weeks ahead of time right now, ahead of, ahead of the middle of April. And if it lasts, it lasts. But um, there are things out there to worry about. Hibernation, mating bugs are on the move. Absolutely, absolutely. It's all based on soil temperature. And once it hits 40 degrees, everything starts moving. Even um, I've seen green tissue coming out of the ground already, mostly with the vines that we're eradicating uh, in the pastures and stuff. But right at soil line, right at the top of the soil, there is green sprouts already coming out of the ground. And that's pretty early for mm -hmm. March 11th, 2020. Oh, my thyme is all nice and, and green on my wall. It is. I'm talking to somebody, I'm talking to Alan and Karen. They have... Uh, Tulips sprouting already. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a against the stone wall. Oh, yeah. well, my heat. my helibores are, are blossoming. Of course, already? they're an early blossoming yeah, yeah. flower. Spring is here, and you know, just an awareness, people, you know, get ready for the garden. Get your tools ready. Get your seeds purchased. Um, if this weather continues, you will be planting earlier. At least some of the cold crops, anyway. Maybe not tomatoes right away, but. Uh, Stuff you can put in the ground that will take the cold temperatures and at night and keep going in the daytime. It's just my feeling. Okay. More bugs to come. Thank you. Item E, F, four cents. Yes. Well, it's getting, speaking of spring, it's getting that time for horses to shed. So hair loss can signal more than just the arrival of spring. Here's a look at what's normal and what's not. Forget blooming flowers and robins, one of the sure signs of spring around a barn is horse hair, and lots of it. And now your horses are probably actively shedding, leaving a layer of hair in the aisle on your clothes and inside your truck. Shedding is more than just a nuisance, though. It's a complex physiological process that tells you a lot about your horse's health. Shedding is not triggered by temperature. It's linked to photo periods as the, lights of day, as the hours of daylights increase, a horse's winter coat begins to loosen and shed. This process started way back in late December, but you usually don't see the obvious hairy results until now. Some horses hang on to their coats longer than others, but an individual shedding schedule will typically be consistent from year to year. Along the same lines, some horses shed out in a particular pattern each year, losing hair from their necks first, for instance, then along their flanks, this can lead to a very unsightly patchy period, but it isn't cause for concern. It is worrisome, however, if a horse isn't shedding out as he usually would. If your normally punctual shedder is holding on to his coat longer than usual this year, it could be a sign of Cog or Cushing's disease, particularly if he is older. Horses with Cushing's also tend to shed the long cat hairs under their bellies and chins last. So the sudden appearance of that pattern is also cause for concern. Horses with Cushing's disease are more likely to develop laminitis, so to let your veterinarian know right away if your horse isn't shedding normally. The sooner you have a diagnosis and can treat, begin treatment, the better. Very nice. Questions? No. Any questions? No. Thank you, Bess. Now you would like the 
Treasurer's report. Treasurer's report. report. Please. The Agricultural Commission Farmers Market Fund account for balance as of 229-2020 in for the uh, farmers market, summer farmers market is $4,839.10. The community garden fund account is $1,470.27 with a combined total of $6,309.37. The winter farmer's market account remains at 165.42. And I see that the uh, scholarship money was returned to us. Okay. Um, I asked finance. They have no, no connection, no phone numbers. Well, so was so that from the one we tried, student right. that changed their mind? It's something, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm looking for her. Uh, we tried. I'm, I'm going back a year or so when we interviewed the girls. Well, I can look through back through the minutes. I need because, her phone number. Because I, well, you should have that paperwork though, because, or. I gave it, like, like Paul, I gave it to. Finance. No, the other one. Well, it should be, I think mm, in the, yeah. I'll look County. back in the, in the minutes, Bob, and I see if, so. if the name should be there, or those students that we, yeah. so I'll look through. I've been looking for that, that month that we interviewed them, and I thought I had a contact sheet. I can't, f I don't yeah, have my did. hand on it yet. And I'm going back to like November of October last year But I'll look, and maybe ago. I have it. I'll look through all my paperwork. Mm -hmm. Then you can send it to me, Beth. And I just I want to call her. Well, at, least, at least get the names. Say hello, you know, okay. that type of thing. Um, I forgot to add the classes to the agenda. Do you mind if I read a few oh, classes? Right off? ahead, Bob. Anybody mind? No. Nope. Not at all. Okay, I'll, be, I'll be as quick as I can. Um, there's some pesticide trainings, uh, the 12th through the 26th, various locations throughout the state for private and commercial applicators. Um, there's a webinar, Agricultural Business Management, March 12th. Schoolyard Sites Info Session online, March 12th. Uh, Merrimack County 4-H Presentation Day, March 14th. Um, Carroll and Belknap County Activities Day, March 14th. Uh, March 14th, 4-H Fashion Review and Textile Event. Uh, March 14th, New Hampshire Vegetable and Berry Growers Annual Meeting, Fruit and Vegetable Crops, Biscowan, New Hampshire. Probably an important annual meeting for that group uh, and to network with other, far other farmers. Educator Training Series in Manchester, March 16th, March 17th, um, Wild Blueberry Growers and Producer Meetings in Sanbornville, another annual meeting. Um, forensic Science Fiction 4-H STEM meeting, a March 17th through April 21st. They must do it one day a week. I'm not clearing the day, but it, this is UNH Extension stuff I'm, I'm reciting. Uh, cooking class, March 19th in Madison. Grant writing workshop in Concord, March 19. March 19, New Hampshire Fruit Growers Association annual meeting in Biscowan. Uh, March 20th, Annie's Project, Managing for Today and Tomorrow in Fairly, Vermont. Three-day event for Annie's Project. March 20th, Spring Landscape Conference, Greenhouse Nursery and Garden Centers in Manchester. Uh, March 20th, Head Start Cooker Class, Tamworth. March 21, Cheshire County 4-H Activity Days in Walpole. Uh, in another one in Coas County in my land. March 21, Rock, Rockingham and Stratford County, 4-H Activities Day. March 21, Hillsborough County, 4-H Activity Day, communication event in Milford. Um, let's see. New Hampshire Master Gardeners, March 21. Encouraging Wildlife Diversity and Design Landscapes and Forests, March 21. March 28th, next two Saturdays from now, at Maple View Farm? Maple Gate. Maple Gate Farm, sorry, John. Maple Gate Farm, all day pruning session. George Hamilton and company, um, great pruning event, apples, Pears, grapes, grapes, blueberries, blueberries. What am I forgetting? All day event. Bring your boots and bring uh, galoshes. It may be a little wet, as we all know. He has peaches too. 
peaches and peach cherries. pruning cherries uh, yeah, i see here uh, march 28th amherst road suggested donation but i wouldn't worry you know, too much about it if you have it you can give it to them for for teaching but it's a great all-day event for pruning of many varieties of fruits um Let's see, let's see, I've got a couple more. March 21 and 22, um, New Hampshire Old House and Barn Exposition, $12 donation. There's something else I'm going to get here. Town of Hollis, New Hampshire. As for lease, 120 acres of current use farmland for up to 25 year term, excellent soils, easy water, active production site. Contact us, Hollis, 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 New Hampshire Town Hall. It's a great opportunity for some growers that need land locally. I would think that would be attractive to that uh, group that was looking for. Using they should jump on that. Mm. Some of it was farmed last year. I saw the, the aerial picture of it. Is that over Wood Want Orchard area? Uh, I'm not sure where this one was. It was all consecutive, though. You know, all attached to each other. It, it was a blow-up picture, but it didn't have a, 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 uh, a town road that I could read anyway. Next Monday, March 16, no-till management for vegetable producers. All-day extension event, 9 to 4 p.m., Half a day at the Milford Center in classroom. The other half of the day at Brookdale Fruit Farm on site. A free event, eight hours. Um, bring your own lunch, rain or shine. A great learning event for no-till and cover crops. Facilitated by Stephen Groff of Cover Crop Solutions. Um, you can reach us, you can reach out to me for that information or the extension service. No till, no till management eventbrite.com. On the 17th of March, New Hampshire Arborist Association, in conjunction with the extension service, is having their annual meeting in Concord. Dr. Michael Durr is coming to lecture. He is a profound professor very experienced, trees and shrubs. Excellent, excellent educator. Are you going? I am, yeah. Free? No, there's 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 a fee. Um, I don't know what it, I don't know. If you're a Hampshire Arborist, $75, I don't know. Maybe it's cheaper for other people, but that's what I had to kind of contribute. Um, 2020 Spring Landscape Conference at the Puritan Conference Center, March 20 on Friday, 8 to 3.30. Um, well, there's a lot going on. Yeah. April 18, Beef Cattle Pregnancy and Calving Workshop. May 20th, Food Safety for Poultry and Rabbits. Um, they're doing stuff, right? The extension is for calving, winter injury, and forage crops. Feeding heifers with brewer's grain, uh, swine enterprise surveys, um, it goes on and on. Sprayer calibration, April 13, Lyme, New Hampshire. And again, April 16, Westminster, Vermont. Uh, I believe that's by Carl Majewski. Um, a lot of stuff is going on right now. And before we start plowing heroin, and you guys want to get out there and learn something, you farmers or even beginners, there's some excellent, excellent educational courses out there. Some are free, some have a fee. Uh, it depends on what your specialty is and what you're looking to learn. So, food for thought, food for thought. Um, contact me, and I'd be happy to, or contact Maybe Extension Service. This is all on, on the web. Um, questions? Review of draft minutes, January 8th. Oh, excuse me, February. I, I thought it looked good. That's, I have the wrong date on my agenda. <laughs> February 12th. <laughs> wow. It That's came out good, miss. <clears throat> there was the one.
uh, correct, and I mentioned to Bob on April it should be 2020, not 2029. Oh yeah. When's the future? Yeah, that's. <laughs> I know. <sighs> You'll have to be picking me up in my, you know, with a oil lift or something. <laughs> they put on that on four wheels. Yeah right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, Everybody's good with the minutes. Yeah. yeah. Make a motion. Accept the minutes as written. Second it. There. What? There's was one it, little was adjustment. A correction. Oh, okay. From 2029 to 2020. That's the only correction. Yeah, but go ahead, Paul. I'm just going to do it with correction. Yeah. I'll make it right. Is there a second? Second Ronnie, it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Four zero. Thank you. Uh, comments from the press. Comments from the public that didn't make it. Sorry. Comments from the commissioners. Um, I w I'm taking an invasive weeds class Friday in Concord, <coughs> Southern New Hampshire, um, New Hampshire Scientists Association. And I think I paid $75, $85 for this day event. Is the commission interested in helping me? Invasive weeds. I, I didn't bring the flyer. I'm what? sorry. I, I had good intentions. I could send you the S flyer. Send me, send me just the basic information. I will. Email me. Mm -hmm. So it's seventy-five. Where is this course? In Concord or New In Hampshire it's Association of Natural Scientists, Manchester or Concord? I can't remember. I, I should have brought. I should have put the thing in my folder and didn't have it. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Mm -hmm. Anyway. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm asking for help, I and think if it could be. Uh, Useful to us in the future. Seventy-five dollars. They have a weed scientist who's going to lecture, and they're, we're talking about control and solutions, be it biological or. Well, I think it's a good chemical. idea, actually, yeah. especially for our gardeners and everything. Mm -hmm. You know, there's people don't always know what. Uh, Do you give a lecture, you know. Well, it's a four-hour four event, five-hour event, plus questions and answer, and I'm going to bring a couple samples with me from my house. What is this, and how do I fix it? You know, mm -hmm. that I'm sure everybody out there is going through this overpowering dilemma of new weeds cropping up here and there so I have uh, a vine that that I keep pulling up year after year and if you don't it has it's a dark dark really nice green leaf and it has the blackberries on it I've been battling that since I've lived on the property it's funny you should say that I'm bringing two vine samples with me best to show him what is this and how do I do it roundup doesn't do it well, and mm, the thing yeah. is, they have you have to really dig up the roots because the roots are like hair roots. Are the roots orange? No, they're white. You have something. You're probably thinking day lilies. Day lily roots oh, yeah. are kind of orangey, mm. but these that they were really a long. I mean, uh -huh. it's it's talk about invasive. I mean, I I've been battling it for years and years and years, right, right, and right. I pull it and dig it, and you really have to dig it because it gets like hair roots. Um, it travels. Know, yeah. And then it just. So I'm asking for help, and if the commission okay. wants to help me, it's greatly appreciated. Well, we always like to keep you educated. Keeps you out of trouble. I move that we allocate Bob to 85? 75. 75 or 85. I $75 to help fund his educational um, <laughs> invasive, adventure here. Invasive weeds class. With the invasive weeds class. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you, commissioners. Well, actually, it'll be interesting, you know, maybe uh, from all these educational pursuits. Maybe I can report back next month and see if we have any Well, that, and it could be, you know, uh, you also maybe do a little thing up to put on that bulletin board, the new white painted bulletin board. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. For, well, I don't uh, want to paint it. I don't want to paint it. Just don't, you know, work around it. For the gardeners to know this, you know, invasive weeds, this is, right. you know, be on the lookout or this right. is how you can handle this because where they can't use pesticides and things like that at the garden. It's funny, you know, I, I emailed all the, all the old gardeners um, from last year and uh, one or two of them called me or emailed me. Bob, Bob, I don't want you to sow my plots and I want one more, you know, that type of thing. So they're, they're getting ready for the spring too, yeah. you know. Uh, I haven't heard from all of them, but... Um, there is a vested interest from the from the senior gardeners that we all remember, you know, and they really appreciate all that you guys do, all that we all do over there, you know, the rototilling, the strings, the water, the pails, everything, you know. So it doesn't go for naught, you know. It is appreciated. So, 
Anyway. Are we putting the offer out to uh, a Jolie for the the 4-H for plots if they choose if they're happy to project and they, and some of that don't have land to have oh, that's a thought to make their pickles or whatever it is they project. I could, I could send Jolie an email and ask her if she wants to come that far. I would believe. Well, but their students and I mean there might be someone. I know they had a pickle project, right? Yeah, so they right, have to grow right, their pickles. Right. But if they want chose something else to grow, mm -hmm. um, that they might want to exhibit at the county <clears> fair. The thing is, I think the garden rules dictate that they have to be 18 years old or supervised. Well, she would supervise, right? Or or, or a know, parent. A chaperone, yeah. I mean, they have parents. Yeah. yeah. So I could reach out to Jolie. Well, just a thought. Between now and then. And it's probably almost time to talk about the pickle project again next Well, if they're meeting. doing that. But I'm just saying yeah. there might be kids that might want to yeah. have a garden, or maybe they're doing a gardening project, mm -hmm. that, but they don't have the land at their own home. <clears throat> Should I ask about Chop Hill Farm? Or further donations or something else they might or need not. you know so wait. well why don't we wait. wait on that because we're wait because we've we're find out first what we're doing for pete because that's right. an expensive thing. you're right and if we the pickle project or, or the 4-h little thing is not much that's money. fine that's, that's covered yeah. a little something i think pete and the 4-h should come first mm -hmm. okay but if they yeah. want a garden plot to raise their concerned. vegetables yeah. to show yeah, yeah. At, the, at the county fair or mm -hmm. something, I mean, we certainly right, right, right. Could, right. We could certainly do that. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. Um, yeah. Okay. So Any other thoughts or questions? Make a motion to adjourn. I'll second it. Should I invite our missing person for next week, sure. next month? Mm -hmm. Also next month, uh, the finance director is going to show up. All right. Okay. Cool. Sounds good. Might be a full plate. You know. That's all right. So, okay. Ron, you did? Ron? Yeah, I second you. Questions? Very good. So, what, what, uh, it's almost spring, you guys. Um, get out there. Get ready for your gardens, your gardening ideas, tools, seeds. 746. Um, we are here to be available to you, questions and answers. We have a community garden that needs to be filled up. We have plenty of plots available. We have a summer farmer's market that starts June 10th this year. We are looking for vendors. So we're reaching out to you to see if there, there's any interest. And uh, we thank you for listening. Um, the meeting ends at 8, 746. Mm -hmm. Thank you all for hearing us. We will be back April 8th for our next monthly meeting. Have a great month. Thank you.